So here's an overview of the different types of lipid molecules that exist. You've heard of lipids, you've heard of fats, you've heard of triglycerides. In one of the previous videos, I showed how you can form a triglyceride by joining a glycerol molecule with three fatty acids. And I can recognize that these are fatty acids because these corners are supposed to be carbons. These are hydrocarbon chains. Hydrocarbon chains don't like water. They are nonpolar and therefore hydrophobic. So you should probably know fats and oils as being famously hateful of water. When you mix oil and water together, you know that the water uh, pulls itself or pushes itself away from oil and oil is usually less dense than water so that's why if you pour oil onto water uh, you end up with a layer of oil up on top so there are different types of lipid molecules there are triglycerides that we've talked about in a previous video this is the general structure of a triglyceride this is a very specific one because these fatty acids are very unique because some of them have double bonds in certain places so triglycerides the tri stands for three for three fatty acids going to one glycerol molecule by condensation and uh, some of those are fats and oils. We've heard of phospholipids. Also in the previous video, I showed that if you removed one of these actual fatty acids and put a phosphate group there instead, you can make a phospholipid. Forms part of the plasma membrane. It's the main component of the plasma membrane that helps to form the bilayers of the plasma membrane. And this one is kind of annoying because when you see all these hexagon shapes, you tend to think of carbohydrates and monosaccharides like you see a hexagon and you think glucose you see uh, one of these pentagons and you think ribose or fructose but when you actually see a bunch of glucose molecules next to each other they're all going to be pretty uniform they're not going to be very there's not going to be many variations in the actual uh, hexagon shapes but here i can see a four ringed structure made up of some hexagons and a, a pentagon here there's some double bonds this is very characteristic of a type of lipid called a steroid a type of lipid called a steroid and cholesterol has this kind of structure there are some steroid hormones as well too and so this you kind of have to get into your mind a lot of hormones are actually proteins but in this case these lipid hormones uh, progesterone estrogen and testosterone which are famous for playing roles in um, developing female and male characteristics uh, during the formation of gonads and they also play roles in for example the menstrual cycle and also uh, puberty as well too so these types of four ringed structures you should be able to recognize as special types of lipids called steroids you don't have to be able to draw these but you should be able to recognize what they actually look like and same thing here you should be able to recognize that this is a lipid a specific type of lipid called a triglyceride molecule